Friends, do you struggle to gain inspiration for your novels, poems, or world building? Well, maybe this video might be of a little aid. First, describe the ideas you already have. Now, don't just describe them in simple form like, Yes, this character is tall, nice hair, ni dark eyes. Don't not like that. Describe your ideas in their entirety, every aspect. Describe them in a poetic style, as you would do in the description of a novel or in a poem. Make it deep, complete, and take note of any ideas that come to your mind while doing that. Also, take note of things that come to your mind throughout the day. Write them down and describe them once again in a poetic manner. Along with that, take note of other things you find interesting during the day and do the same thing with them. Another great way to gain inspiration is to study history. History can be a great resource for how things have operated and also for interesting ideas. If you find something interesting in history, ask why and write down about that idea and the why behind it and how that came to be. And then build from that, construct things from that and expand. And remember how that thing you find interesting came to be, as those aspects will give you insight into new ideas that you can add in. An example of this is you could wonder, why did the Picts run into battle with nothing on but their war paint? Well, looking, you see that they thought their war paint had mystical properties. Well, that sounds like a great idea for a magic system in a fantasy world. Magical war paint. Now, what abilities would this war paint bestow that would make it beneficial enough to run into battle with only it on? Also, one could go to an art museum and just spend time observing the exhibits. And maybe just observing one exhibit. And describe that exhibit in a poetic manner. Describing how they feel, the aspects, how it is to walk in there. You never know how that can inspire you. Walking to one exhibit at a museum, I managed to write a poem about how it felt to be there and how it felt to kind of feel home, but, be, but to be forced to draw away to the needs of life. And also gain from that exact same exhibit on what the homes and buildings of, of one of the societies in my novel will look like. Another great way to gain inspiration is to observe nature. Don't just observe it in stagnation. Observe why the animals are doing what they're doing. What they are doing. Observe why the plants are where they are. Describe that in a poetic manner again. Or in a short story. Describe what's going on. If one of those things seems to relate to one of the ideas you already have, combine it with it and describe it in a short story or a poem. And to do all these things, remember to keep a notebook with you, or a phone that you can take notes with, or a voice recorder to record your ideas. You should always have some way of recording your ideas with you. And when it comes to notebook, I find it is a great idea to have a flip up notebook like this old style one, as it is easier to hold this open and write in it than it is, than it is for a traditional book style one. And these are just some ideas that may help you for your writing and world building.